interesting day in Orange County. That's where a gun show took place just miles from where people are rallying for gun control. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live at the March for Our Lives event in Santa Ana. Greg. Hey, Peter, this march and rally is just now ending. Came out here, I really wanted to talk to kids, the students who are impacted. What I found is these kids are terrified when they go to school. Behind these signs are some scared students who saw the terrifying tragedy unfold in Florida last month from their homes here in Orange County. We're scared that our schools are our schools are going to get shot up as well. How often do you think about that? Um, lately, quite quite a bit. Pictures of the Parkland victims were center stage here at the Orange County March for Our Lives. This student didn't need the reminder. She vividly recalls watching news reports from Parkland and worrying about her teenage sisters here. What if um, they were caught in the crossfire of a school shooting? And I. Could you even imagine it? The sad thing is that I can because it's happened so many times. Every day at school, I live in fear. So they came here to make a statement. Their feelings written in bold letters, taking a bold stand. At Elizabeth Hawkins High School, they had drills what to do if there's a shooting at school. And it only added to students' anxiety. And it was really scary. What's that do to you? I mean, does it make you. More concerned? Uh, yeah. But prepared? Yeah, just wondering when it's not going to be a drill and when it's going to be a real deal. People here took their shots at gun laws in this country and at the NRA. While just a few miles away, the NRA was busy recruiting new members at the Orange County Gun Show. People here at the rally call for gun control, a federal ban of assault weapons, a different take at the gun show. An assault is an act, it's not a weapon. Michael Casas was at the gun show with his son. He and others here at the gun show want students protected with police at each school. As for calls for changing gun laws or banning some guns. The gun safe zones are the places where these gun incidents keep happening. So obviously banning things is not working. And the folks here were talking, really emphasizing vote. That's the way you're really going to be heard. And remarkably, they had a voting registrar right here, and they did uh, register, uh, register, register about uh, 41 new voters here today. So they accomplished that because they said that's the way to really get your message across. Peter, Andrea, back to you too.